Place this frog guy, got it behind him. There we go. That frog took off before the jockey was ready. Kind of surprised him there. We'll get us a mark. Two great jumps after that first run. Okay, we got a 14 foot, eight inches on that jump. 14 and eight. Okay, next up, we are gonna have from the Frog Jump Committee, we have Morgan Kitchell, jumping with Wild Card. Okay, here we have Morgan's gonna drop that frog. Okay, we'll get us an official mark here. She so can touch it as long as it's on the pad. Once it leaves the pad, she can't touch it, so it's important to stay behind the frog. Thirteen feet, seven and one half inches on that. Thirteen, seven and one half. Okay, next up we're going to have the Scholastic Invitational Jumper. We actually have uh, the jockey's name for the original jump was Lanny, I believe it's Cope. And we're going to have Miss Calaveras step in here and oh. jump in his place because they're not here. So she's going to have to place that frog. You just never know what these frogs are going to do. Maybe she should have kissed that frog. Two foot six inches on that. Two and six. Okay, next up we have uh, another one of the princesses jumping for, it uh, looks like it's Dejante Belt. The frog's name was Croker. It was a qualifying jump of nine feet and five inches. Uh, they could not be here, so we're gonna have one of our princesses step in here and jump a frog. Oh, he's here. Okay, I was just, just advised that he actually is here. And so we're gonna give him a frog. Okay, the, his actual name, I mispronounced it, is Dejani Belt. Okay, he's going to go ahead and place this frog here. Go after him, go after him, go after him! There's a frog that was ready to go. Excellent uh, job, Dejani. Seventeen even on that. Seventeen feet even. Okay, our next qualifier, this again is another sanctioned jump. Our jockey was Raymond Brock. Does not appear that he is here. His frog's name was Phineas. Qualified with a jump of seven foot 11. We're gonna have one of our princesses here 
jump the frog in his place. Let's go, Katie! He's going to set that frog. Come on, frog. You can touch it as long as he's on the pad. You can touch him. Down, down. Stay behind him. Stay behind him. There we got a third jump. Four foot nine and one half inches on that. Four, nine, and one half. Okay, next up, we will have uh, this qualifying sanction jump, the Family Club. Ella McQuaid is our jockey, and Gorf 2 is the name of her frog. And I was advised uh, that as frog spelled backwards, Gorf. And again, you can do anything but touch that frog to motivate it to jump. You never know what's going to work until you try it. Three foot eight inches on that last jump. Three foot eight inch. Okay, next up we're going to have the government center jump. This was actually jockeyed originally by Supervisor Spellman. Qualified with a jump of 9 foot 2 inches. We're going to have one of our princesses fill in here with a frog. And there's our third jump. Yeah, now he's going to take off. Four foot even on that. Four even. Okay, next up, we have from the John Sutter School in Santa Clara, we have the original jockey was a Dylan Rizzo Adams. Frog's name was Sutter Pride number 47. Qualifying jump of 17 foot 1 inches. We will be having Miss Calaveras will be substitute jockey. Now he's never going to leave that pad. You can stay behind him, yell, scream, dance, anything but touch him at this point. There's two, there's three. One foot nine inches on that last frog.
Okay, we had a late show up here. We're going to get Supervisor Spellman in here to jump his frog for the Government Center jump. And so we're going to get him a frog, get him going here. And again, he qualified with a nine foot two inch jump. Yeah, Mr. Spellman! That was close, almost touched it, but he missed it by about a half an hour.